I'm back again. Is it back? Is it back? Is it back? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Got internet back because the music started up again. Add so maybe. Okay. All right. Everybody a second. Don't see, re see the stream. All right. Boop. Okay, that's already that's good. All right, back to the game. So how big is this room? This room is two sections long. We went to the next one. And I found the thing. Hearing it, so I'm, it might be on, might be under us actually. I'm hearing those uh, zombies because there could be caves underneath, which I actually do want to look at. So I do need to build a um, a mine. So let's go and do that. We use this face room. Still buffering though. Looks like the connection is pretty solid. Showing on this end there. Just stop doing that. Um. So there's definitely a zombie noise that's not that parrot. Oh, yep, there's there's why. There is a cave. Uh, Hello, sir. I don't want to hit the bat. Get out of the way, bat. Foundation. Light stuff up. Like more stuff up. There's some iron. Hey, Tyrion, how you doing? Welcome. So we are underneath the Woodland Mansion. And we have to figure out a way to get back home. 22,000 blocks back to the road. Bang bang, Tarion resubscribing seven months in a row. Thank you very much. Missed my stream. Well, thank you. I miss streaming for you guys. I think things are starting to get back to back to normal. There's lava somewhere. It's lava somewhere. So hopefully I can get these things going more regularly now and even increase them in the near future all right so there's more iron let's go ahead and grab the iron get out of the way is that lava feature of the mansion or is that something else I 
Doing okay? Awesome. Alright, let's kill that. Go and grab this. Alright, now I want to... Set up for our mining stairway. So we actually have to go. So we'll work our way down to bedrock once again. Pretty much starting a base here. Fortunately, the mansion is a nice base to uh, utilize for other things. It has a lot of resources. Turn the music up a little bit here. It's kind of mellow. It's the exploration suite from Skyrim, so kind of the more mellow, wandering around background music. guys. We're going down the bedrock. So we can find some lava, turn into obsidian. Do I have anything special? Fortune pick, that's just a regular pick. So when we want to dig up the um, Obsidian would go ahead and use this because the efficiency will make it faster. Uh, it's not hurting anything being in my left hand, just, just in case I die. Yo, welcome back. <laughs> Hype. Alright. Uh, yeah, we're getting down there. Probably another 15 or so to go.
all the sounds. So probably at the lava level. I'm doing F3 here soon. Oh, we'll, we'll hit bedrock. Oh, nope, there it is. Perfect. Um, what is it doing? Can I put that away? Uh, let's put some stuff away, then we'll come down and grab some obsidian. Then we can make a portal. Then we can go through the portal, see what's down the other side. And then we can start plotting. I think I'll make a straight road like I have. You know, the height I want to make it in the nether is 75. Make stairs for this. So we know that. chest up. I'll do the um where'd that one come from? Oh that was the one I picked up yeah, that's one I picked up over. Okay, so that, that we can put down below. Um, I do have extra diamonds if I need another diamond pickaxe. Yeah, that's, that's, I think that's an actual zombie somewhere. Because he's. that's why the parrot is mimicking it, because it's close enough for him to mimic. Um... I think that's everything I need. I need a water bucket. Start digging out some obsidian. Make the portal and then we'll see what see what we can do from there. Yeah, I think this cave. This cave must have an extension over here somewhere. So I dug through all this, I'd probably find it. Yeah. Pretty sure. Hey, what no. Spiders now. One thing at a time, though. Let's get the obsidian. area first so we don't get stuff dropping in on us more lava some lapis nice some floating gravel Fortune, yeah, let's, let's fortune pick this coal. Make sure we have plenty of materials for, uh, and we're at level 35. We really need to get back home and do some enchanting. And not die. Yeah. 
that's gonna be a lot of coal. Yep, almost two stacks. No, we had some... Some already. Or did we? They ran out, actually ran out. Um... Lapis. That's right, the this will float and get destroyed unless I grab it. Because before it would just sink and stay down there, but now it'll float up and then get swept away and then go into the lava and, and get destroyed if I don't if not careful. So we want ten yep like that. Silly, silly game. I guess this method doesn't really work as it used to. It keeps getting swept away to get destroyed. Well, I could go back to my technique of making a little pit and bringing the lava over and then hardening it. like that and then I use let's put the water in there for now that way I know when I dig up the obsidian it's not going to get destroyed by other lava because there's no lava underneath pick up all these no problem I don't do three by three that way I always pick up eight that way I kind of keep an even number Plebs are needed. Plebs are needed. Strategist 30, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the chill team. How are you doing today? All right, uh, 13, I need... Four, eight, 14 for the uh, style of... Of a uh, portal I to make, which is a... Four by three, four high by three wide. So we get one more stack, or one more, one more uh, set of obsidian here, and then we head up to the surface.
There we go. All right, so 21, uh, let's see if I can just grab this one without losing it. Yes. And this one, try to get 24. Yes. Nope. So it's about to flow over and Set me on fire. Uh, yeah, one more. One more. So I could technically get the bedrock, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Let's take a peek into the nether, see what our situation is there. Stairs. Nice. Making the sound of a skeleton. So there's a skeleton around somewhere. Okay, I don't need all that. All right, where are we gonna put this portal? Let's not put it near our main room. We got over here. That's gonna be a good one for it. Just a bunch of wool. Let's remove the wool, and I'll make this our um, portal room. Nothing hidden inside. I don't think there is. When I looked up the um, wiki article on forest mansions. They said just, just literally just a room full of wool. But we can make a purple bed. So we'll take use a purple bed for our um, new travel bed. I don't think I've done that one yet. mine this faster. Nope. Sword? Nope. Shears? Yes.
And if we can come across an Enderman somewhere and get an Ender Pearl and some. Blaze Rod. I can make a Ender Chest to get access to some of our good stuff back home. Alright, so now. Three. It's not where I wanted you. Derp. Light this thing on fire. Tyron, hello, welcome, how you doing? Alright, let's go see what it's like on the other side. Here we go. Nice open area. Nothing too risky. Do go watch it up down there, but we won't just immediately follow our deaths, so that's always a good thing. Let things settle in. Get some lag while all the lava still falls and settles into where it's gonna go. And we got a gas to worry about. Um, okay, got plenty of arrows. Bow that might not last. Use the axe to kill him that way. The swipe, the swipe doesn't hit Pigman by mistake. All right, excellent. So now I just need a blaze rod. So for Blaze Rod, we need a um, fortress. Let me just take a quick look over this way. There's some glowstone. Obvious fortress, don't fall down any holes. So you can grab some of that glowstone just because. Now let's figure out which direction I need to go. Because we need to go north about 3,000 blocks to find the road in the nether. Mm -hmm.
Okay, is this over? Nope. Yeah, thought so. I didn't think this was going to be like super easy to get. Okay. So we can grab some of it though. That's all I want is just a little bit of glowstone. Just, just because. It's nice to have. Enough, just enough to play with. For. All right, so the things we're looking. Wow, it's kind of weird to have a sheer drop like that. I didn't build. All right, there's our portal. So the things we need to know are that the height level for the road is going to be 75, and we got to go north. So let me figure this out up here. Actually, I need to use the restroom real bad. So I'm going to go do that real fast. So pause the game. It's actually paused, and I'll BRB in just a moment, guys. Uh, BRB and. Bam, boop.
All right, I'm back. BRB webcam on. There we go. I'm back. Let's. All right. So, two pieces of information I need are height seventy-five and direction north. So that is south. So we actually were going the right way, and we're at sixty-eight. So let's. I can get the right material, but let's jump up here. 76, 75. It's right here. So this is the height. We need to build a road about 3,000 blocks that way and meet up with the, uh, the original road, which goes east to west. So cross left to right. So that is what we shall do. So I want to make that out of andesite, polished andesite. And we'll just keep going until we, uh, so we'll gather that material. And do the thing. And the stuff. Lazarius with the host. Host coming through. Look at that host. Thank you very much, Lazarius, for the host and the raid coming through. Bam. Thank you. Welcome, everybody. We are in the nether. We are a long ways from home. We're trying to figure out where we, we got to go about 3,000 blocks that way to get back to known territory. And we're not only in the nether, but up above is a woodland mansion that we have uh, previously conquered on a previous episode. And now we need to um, I should plant some stuff here to get some um, wheat seeds so we can have some food. So that is the goal here. That's not good. Nighttime, sleep time. But welcome everybody, how are you doing today? Hey Mike, welcome. All right, let me sort through my stuff here. Let's pull the stuff we don't need in here. Don't need that. Glowstone is just about, oh, save some arrows. For later, don't need the gas tier. Always need some wood. Let's actually get a little bit more. Let's dig out a little bit of um, andesite. And we'll start making Making things. Hey, good morning. I'm doing fantastic. How are you doing? That Alice streams. Yeah, Alice is another awesome stream. City skylines. Ooh, cool. Very cool. I need to get back to that. So, how deep are you into your city? Is it like a super metropolis now, or are you still kind of in the early parts? all kinds of places in there, up there. Uh, let's go into the mine. Uh, actually, let's... Let's make some stairs. Third 24k start again after new DLC. Oh, yeah. That's right, the um, Industries one. So you actually, yeah, kind of get to influence. I like, I like that that you kind of get to influence the um, the industries a little more directly. Give some extra challenge to things. Right, so let's take the insight with us. Oh yeah, I was gonna make some stairs. That should be enough. 
don't need that anymore. Uh, don't need the birch planks. We were going to meet is that blue. I thought it was purple wool. Look purple when I was in the other room. We'll make a. No, we'll make a um, light blue bed for our travel needs. Still good for a steady income. More volatile. Oh, okay. Oh, state owned. Oh, interesting. So you can, yeah, so you can boost your income, but yeah, you have to work at it. That, that's pretty exciting. Uh, that would go there. Let's go down. Hey, you spread the love. Spread that love. We, we, we do. Hey, Fluffy Bunny, welcome. How you doing? Plebs are needed. Plebs are needed. Spread that love. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the chill team. Yeah, we definitely spread the love around here. I love rating small streamers. All right, I need to see if we can continue this. Stairway. I like like having a nice straight stairway all the way down. So that goes there. That goes there. Um, there is some lava to deal with there. That's like I said. That's that's why I, I enjoy, really enjoy rating smaller streamers and giving somebody a boost. So I definitely was there not too long ago. All right. So where's the path? Okay. So that. Don't worry about this one. Pouring lava onto me. It may fall into lava, but I don't have to worry about it. Lava hitting me. This one, not so sure. Let's see what's behind this one. See what's behind door number. Lava. Now this one's safe. More obsidian is always good because we do have to try to make a um, ender chest at some point. So we have enough for that now. And this should be safe. Do we catch it or not? No, it is not safe. for a straight stairway. Just all because I want my stairway to go all the way down the bedrock in a straight line. I just can't 
turn to the right or something like that. Something easy. Can never do it the easy way. Fire search and rescue. Yeah, I saw that. Hey, Zalori, how you doing? Con genre, welcome as well. How you doing? Yeah, the smoke here is really bad. It's like I have tomorrow off because they canceled uh, the high school football playoffs in the area. Or not canceled, but they delayed them a week. Because I usually work Friday nights. Uh, Plebs are needed. Television coverage for local high school football. All EC, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the chill team. One set of items there, yep. Yeah, unless, unless there's some kind of mods. Um, on, a lot, on a lot of servers, each person gets their own personal ender chest. Um, oh wow, is that... Oh, I think I accidentally placed that. Oh, they get their own personal ender chest. So it acts as an extension of your personal uh, inventory and it's, it's safe. Doing good, excellent. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so many, it's like basically an entire town just wiped out. End of the map, Factorio. Those, that's going pretty good. We hit 7% on the, the Factorio map, so we're still going there strong. Working away the 8% that I'm going to, when we get to 8%, we're going to make a huge, um, or a bigger artillery train, um, 64 cars. So that'll be fun, watching that thing fire off. Man, this thing just keeps going down. I ah, saved it. Yeah, yeah, that's what a couple of people are saying. It's like, uh, even when, yeah, even when you get full automation going, it is not an easy task. Lost, lost, absolutely. Somewhere between 2 and 3%. Are there any more down here? Yes, there are. Dang it. Stop that. Well, we'll have a nice solid wall here, that's for sure. lava how did the fire start um i'm not sure how it started i don't think i've heard that okay so that's as far as down as we're going so i'm not really going to get my bedrock room the way i like it Still, that's so. Normally, I do is once I get here, is I build a um, little room five by five and four high, and then branch out from there. It doesn't look like I'm gonna get that to here. Oh, poor bat! Just, nope, nope, another bat. Stop burning yourselves up. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's like just fighting it has been. And what's weird is the smoke. The smoke is bad here in the valley, but that's expected. We're in a valley, so all the smoke settles in, just stays there forever. Because even the breeze from the ocean doesn't push it that far. What really surprised me is how bad it is in San Francisco. San Francisco. Keep in mind, San Francisco is right on the coast. It's surrounded on three sides by water. So for the smoke to settle in San Francisco and not move, that means there's no ocean breeze.
I'm in Sacramento. So it's just hazy, but yeah, San Francisco is actually worse than here, and it's like, considering where they are right next to the ocean, and the, there's always a breeze coming off the ocean, it's like, how's the smoke just staying there? Pass through here. Yeah, I haven't been really up that way. I've been up through Redding going on I 5 a lot. I haven't really been to Chico or um, Paradise and all that too often. Hey, Extra Extreme, how you doing? Yeah, I bet. That's... <clears throat> and that's the thing about the fire, and also the Sonoma fire last year, is what it wasn't just the houses that are next to the edge of the hills and mountains where the, you know, it's like you would expect and expect the fire to be able to spread but that it travels through it's traveled through built up neighborhoods that are pretty much standard suburbia you know with you know the lawns and your normal you know trees in the yards but not like a forest situation perfect so the parrot keeps making a uh, creeper noises and scares the heck out of me. Yeah, sell the property. Yeah, it's like, exactly. It's like they can sell the land, but it's like the, you know, the price they're going to get for it is just going to be next to nothing. Let's do a little branch mining, see if we get lucky and hit some diamonds. Yeah, nice little cozy little house here. Built it myself. right next door. Wow. Yeah, insurance is going to be a big, big thing. But that just replaces, you know, some of the property and the, the value, but not, you know, all your earthly possessions that you, uh, cold English weather. Yeah. Yeah, so we get that kind of here for a little bit. Because one of the things we'll get here in the Central Valley of California is like two or three weeks where there's just overcast fog and you don't see the sun and it just stays kind of, not like super cold, but just chilly and, and damp for like two weeks straight, two or three weeks straight. Probably block that off. At least, at least do that. <coughs> yeah, an indoor pool. 
Yeah, but yeah, most of the year, yeah, it's like, at least we know it's going to end after two or three weeks. And then it gets kind of, um, where am I going? And then the sun comes out and then it gets really cold. Kind of the ironic thing. It's like, it's colder here when it's sunny than, uh, when it's, uh, cloudy. Which is why it doesn't snow very often here. Because because the cloud cover just warms it up enough to keep it from snowing. Don't need that. All right, let's go. Let's go. Just branch mine a little bit. See what we can find. Oh yeah, yeah, the little. Or row houses. October the March. <laughs> Alright, so that's in the end that I'm looking for, but let's first to see if we can kind of break out into a new actually I it's not the level I want to be. Get this level. I said, just a little exploration dig here. Maybe get lucky, find some diamonds. If not, we'll find a couple andesite veins. Mine those out. Start our start our road back to civilization in the Nether. If I can get a blaze rod, then I can make an ender chest. I have um, some diamonds in the chest I can access for making stuff. All right, here's the thing of andesite. So let's dig out this andesite. Then we'll use that to start our uh, nether road. Enchanted pick, though. Feels a little slow after being used to at least um, efficiency three or efficiency four picks all the time.
Yeah, we can always use some iron. get to that now. All right, let's take this up, start the road a little bit. And see what, see where it leads. There's some more we can mine out. Some more upstairs as well. some like I was talking about so like I said we'll need to go about 3,000 blocks in the nether to get back to known civilization don't need all that we'll keep some cobble with us though all right, let's turn all this into polished andesite. Seems adequately lit up. Hmm. You stop that. That creeper hissing from the parrot. <laughs> we are trying to get home. We are. So yeah, 22,078 on the z-axis. We should be at um, pretty much zero there. And we're already, we're also 18,000 on the x-axis. But the road goes to 20,000, so that's fine. If we go straight north, we will hit the road again. Yeah, that was a long detour. It's like when I got the map for this and started following it, I was like, oh, this won't be that long. Uh, it might come from here too, it's pretty dark. That won't be that long. You know, four hours later, it's like, oh, here it is, finally. Alright, do I have what I need? 
pretty much. I don't need to take the zombie flash with me. Now let's make some more torches. And I can't tell if that is the parrot making that baby zombie noise because it pitches it up. But that's what a baby zombie noise is anyway. It's pitched up the regular zombie noise. And I know there's caves underneath. All right, let's go see what we can do as far as this goes. How do we end up here? Well, I I bought an adventure map from one of the villagers at the desert uh, village. And I said, oh, well, let's just go visit this mansion. It's, you know, it's probably a long ways away. The last one is 6,000 blocks away, but I had no idea it would take us um, 22,000 blocks out of the way. Just not quite what I, what I was expecting. Okay, we'll build a proper path up to here at some point, but for now... Get out of the way, out of the way, out of the way. Go. I'm gonna dig and I don't want you to know. Oh 27,400 is... No, 2271. That's the center line. So we're just gonna keep going this way. Don't need that. Hey, Atran, how you doing? Welcome. I gotta say that sounds like a troll um, opening line there. Thank you. It's just that that's, you know, I'm playing Minecraft and that's the pattern. Someone comes in and says some, something way over the top nice, and then they follow up with something that's really cringy and trolly. So it's like, I'm always a little bit suspicious. Alright, is that all? Should be another... Should be a... Thing and the stuff. Something up there? Yep, there it is. Mm, not a big deal. So the walls, no, these aren't flesh. Um, there is a mod where there is flesh as one of the blocks. Plus there's, or am I thinking Terraria? I might be thinking Terraria. Karen, yeah, that's the, yeah, that's the other one. I get that a lot too. That's that. I'm just 
Not gonna worry too much about making it like three wide until we get to some place. Whoops, that's not good. Until we get to a place where it's like over lava, then we'll make it three wide. If falling off this, I could survive, so we won't worry about that too much. Although when the uh, gas spawns like right along the path, it's like, oh, nowhere to run. position for the uh, end of sight. See if there's a fortress. So I already know there isn't. to the place, yeah. yeah. Definitely I'm gonna need new picks. I guess we can just make some um, stone picks for now. That They're fast enough in the nether. Are needed. Clubs are needed. That witchy kid, 14. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the chill team. because it's hard to tell if there's like a hole opens up beneath you if you don't careful fall in well, this is a nice long tunnel that'll help get us some distance towards our goal all right, so let's make a couple of um, stone picks in the meantime. Boop. It's actually a stone picks on nether rack is a pretty good base. Not too fast where you miss something. 
Okay, now... We could be more careful. Probably make this triple wide. If I hear that scream of the gas trying to shoot me. Booking it back into the tunnel. No, yeah, not afraid of height. Not too bad. That's uh, pretty. My left pinky is very, very strong from holding the shift key in Minecraft. <laughs> but we're gonna make this three wide. I'll probably have to go back and get some more. Uh, no, I'm only on my second stack, so I do have. I don't think I have quite enough to do three wide all the way across, though. If I chance it. Let's try it. Okay, well, at least we'll fall on hard ground now. Now the, that's the dangerous part right there. Pretty nerve-wracking. Boop. <laughs> Gotta admit that that had me holding my breath. Plebs are needed. Plebs are needed. Newbie Timber, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the chill team. Oh, here's one of those. Um, is that? Because I now have um, ravines in the nether. Of course, it, you know, it's not. Yeah, you know, nothing weird looking, but yeah, it's, it, is, it is a thing now. Oops, don't look at, <coughs> don't look at the Enderman. All right, let's see what's the other side of this bit. And if we're going to dig out quartz, might as well do it with a fortune pick. Hey, Mad Hatter, welcome. How you doing? It's, it's down there. A long drop is what's down there. All right, let's see if we can get across to that. That. We have 42 left. I'll go back. We'll get some more in the site. We'll triple wide the bridges. I do not want that to be just... Nope, 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 nope. I'm doing pretty good. We got a big challenge ahead of us though, to try to get home. that to be just another rack. I want something that will withstand the gas blast. Mm. 
little hidey hole over in this end. Well, for a few spaces anyway. Uh, only 10 more left. Let's not push our luck. Go ahead and use these to extend this. Two of them, maybe three. We'll use these up and then we'll run home. Yeah, I haven't been streaming much, so you haven't missed them lately. I've only been getting in like one a week. Um, since before TwitchCon, I think. But hopefully that will change here and we'll get into a regular schedule and actually a, a schedule schedule, not just, oh, I can stream now, let's stream. getting up here nicely there we go Nope, still need blaze one. I was gonna say a magma cream could be handy for a fireproof potion, but I still need a blaze rod to do that. Let's take a peek over here, just see if there's a fortress in range. So Nope. All right. Just checking. Let's go get some more insight. Let's um, widen the dangerous bridges. And then we'll extend off even further. Yeah. <laughs> Good idea. It's probably not something on it. I could see that, though. yeah. I'm gonna start ignoring that hissing and then one of these times it's gonna be an actual zombie or a creeper. It's like, oh, that's just my parrot. And it's like, bam!
Save those for the nether brack. Let's go get some more andesite. Two veins is usually about three, three and a half stacks worth of uh, these stone. So we'll find another vein, mine that one out, and go back in the nether. So we would need. 9,000 of these to make a full three wide road in the nether. Although, like I said, for now we can kind of s skip. You know, whenever we have to dig a tunnel, that's sufficient, that's safe. It gets us long distances, so we don't necessarily need it. But if we did 9,000, that would be. would be 15 stacks about 150 stacks pixel hello welcome how you doing no it's all vanilla all right so that was like a stack and a half so like I said, yeah, about three to three and a half stacks. There was another vein along the stairway. Dramatic mining music. worth down with us. That's all diorite, which we don't need. At least not, not yet. Spawns. There's one. Switch in one of these caves. Want to reach some point? Yeah. Well, we're the goal of this save is to build a long road, forty thousand blocks long. It's about a little over fifty percent done right now. The thing is, every time there's a new upgrade to uh, Minecraft, we extend it by 10,000 blocks. So it keeps getting, you know, keep being close to finishing, well, not close to finishing, but, you know, about 60% done, and we have to add another 10,000 blocks. So that's the goal of this save, is to build a super long road. But 
we got a little distracted and we came to visit a um, woodland mansion. And now we're 20,000 blocks away from the road. So we're 22,000 blocks south of the road. The road extends 40,000 blocks east and west. 20,000 blocks west of spawn plus 20,000 blocks east of spawn. We are on the eastern end of it. So we're 18,000 east and 22,000 south of spawn right now. So we are a long ways from home. so far. Go find one more vein after this. Is that sensing a theme? Yeah, there might be a theme. Plebs are needed. ZJ Mayhem, thank you for the follow. Welcome. ZJ Mayhem, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the chill team. Might be a theme. It's like try the long road, all the games. Kerbal Space Program, we're gonna make a road in space. Don't know how, we're just gonna do it. size vein. I think it connected with another vein. Bilbo Baggins, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Just going adventuring. as long as him to probably finish some of these things. Right, let's go ahead and grab the iron. Some insight, but that's over lava. That's granite. No diamonds yet, though. Yeah, let's grab the lapis. Okay. 
All right, how many stacks do we get? One, two, three, four, five, five stacks. Yeah, we'll, we'll take that in another. XCOM and the Unknown soundtrack is next. over here You stop creepering. It's creepy. Uh, no more dirt. Now let's go see where this takes us. Is it nighttime? Kind of. Let's do a sleep. Do a sleep. My next factorial, probably tomorrow. Um, this is Saturday. Today is Friday, yeah. Yeah, probably tomorrow. How you doing, Damien? looking for a fortress because I want a blaze rod to be able to make a vendor chest to have access to more diamonds and some other stuff nope Here's where I'm gonna need a um, triple wide. It's like, do I kind of skip the triple wide and go farther? But I don't think so. I think I really need to make this safe as a priority. Because three wide, I can kind of zig and zag. If a gas hits, hits me, it doesn't necessarily knock me off the edge. feel pretty confident with a three wide bridge that I'm not gonna die. While the one wide bridge it's like nope, just take that's taking too many chances. Although with a totem of undying in my left hand, I won't actually die.
see that much. Even bouncing out the zombie. It's not that bad. down. Yeah, yeah, my left pinky is very, very strong. <laughs> Just like clamping down that shift button. It's like, do not let go. Oh man, I almost didn't realize that this is already... Are needed. Do this. Irish Monster 08, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the chill team. Let's just make this all the good stuff. Not play around. Fortress? No, no fortress. die here if I fall off so I think I can <laughs> this guy because you kind of bounce when you hit them and so You don't want to just run by a zombie on a one wide path, one path, wide path bridge, because you'll bounce and go sideways a little bit and you could fall off. So I like to crouch and, you know, shift while uh, drifting by them. All right, so let's use this to make this a triple wide mm. 
Well, thank you, Mad Hatter. Plebs are needed. Assassin PV, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the chill team. Yeah, it's like Minecraft can get pretty surprisingly intense. Yeah, the recent updates have been really good. And I really like the updates that are coming as well. Uh, it looks like they're gonna really expand the content of every each of the biomes. Like they did with the ocean. They're gonna go through all the biomes like desert and forest and all that and make actually make them um, you know, a little deeper. More more varied, more animals, more structures. So I'm really looking forward to see what they do with these new updates. So that, like I said, that is something I'm more comfortable with, with just kind of walking across. How many more? I actually have quite a bit more. So we can extend this one out, get it wider. I have to kill off that gas though. one of them I should say <laughs> so you used to be able to shoot the fireballs and knock them out. that's what I can still do that one to it let's go remember that Get him? Oh, I got him. Is that my book? The narrow. I think it's an arrow on the ground. Is that, is that arrow or is that an XP ball? It's an arrow. There he is. Where that one disappeared, and that's a different one now. I think that's what happened. One of those arrows hit a zombie pig man. <laughs> Time to just get out of here, let them calm down. That's a long shot too. So I guess the the message kind of traveled in a wave and kind of got back to those guys. But that's that that noise they may just made is not a noise you want to hear.
We'll see if he likes me. Do you like me? got the message those other ones didn't. Very nice. Well, there are other things we can do, so let's go do them. Drop him though, yeah. The thing is that he'd be pounding on me with that gold sword the whole time while I was pushing him. And if I bop him to push him in, that'll make all the other ones around him angry. See, when he hit me, he didn't make the others angry. Because he had just received the message I had shot a zombie pig man somewhere else. But but he didn't pass that message along to those other guys, so... It's not too bad yet. Let's, we can go get more andesite, we can do... Let's uh, do a couple other things. I think I want to get a, um... Cause, oh yeah, I'm gonna get some seeds for this. So we can get some wheat growing. Is it nighttime? It is nighttime. Alright, so let's sleep. Let's go out and collect some seeds. Hey, Edrin, how you doing? Welcome, James. Welcome. So we'll go do do all those things. Bang! Gaming pause with the resub. Four months in a row. Hey, gaming pause. Welcome. Bang bang. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, let's go get some seeds. Bang, bang. <laughs> okay, this zombie I can fight. Oh, welcome back. How are you doing today? Okay, we got some swamp over here. Some horses. I do have depth strider boots. So walking in the water is pretty pretty fast. I think I think we should probably get some cows and chickens. Get a cow and chicken pen in the house. Sheep, not so much. Pigs, not so much. 
I think a cow and chicken pen would be handy. Feathers for the um, arrows. Um, if we have to do enchanting with enough cows, we can get some. If we really have to stick it out here for a while, we can make some books. Speaking of that, I should probably look for some sugar cane. Lurking his work as usual. It's very good. Keep that in chat. Nice, thank you. Yep, we're in we're in we're playing Minecraft. Need that little bit of extra. A little bit of extra help there. That's that. <coughs> uh, that. Let's go do. Let's go do something over here. Oh yeah, turn down the volume just a little bit. 